ZBrush is digital sculpting software ideal for creating the organic shapes and surfaces often encountered in scientific visualization projects. Currently, ZBrush is extremely popular in the entertainment industry for use in games and movies. It is also becoming a popular tool among the scientific illustrators and animators, as well as playing a role in the emerging 3D printing industry. I'm showing a few examples of products I created with ZBrush in my visualization work. I wanted to give you an idea of what ZBrush is good for so you can make better decisions about when to use ZBrush and what other software it can be paired with depending on what you're trying to make. So let's take a look uh, first at an illustration. This is an image of coral which was created with ZBrush and Photoshop together. I started in ZBrush making the branching shape of the coral using a special ZBrush tool known as a Z-sphere. I then converted the Z-sphere into a mesh and used ZBrush's powerful instancing tools to duplicate the branches and fuse them all together. The generated mesh is shaped using the sculpting tools, detailed and colored using virtual painting tools. I then set up virtual lighting and materials and rendered an image. ZBrush generates separate image files for color, depth, shadow, and lighting. I exported all of these images from ZBrush. The next stage of the process is to bring these images into Photoshop where they can become the basis of a digital painting. Another common use for ZBrush is in animation. In this example, I created not only an organic mesh in ZBrush, but also sculpted variations that are used in Maya as part of an animation tool known as a blend shape. In this case, I started with a simple scene in Maya that establishes the scale of the major elements. I exported these as OBJ format 3D files and brought them into ZBrush. In ZBrush, I sculpted the detailed shapes using the files I exported from Maya as a starting point. I sculpted the macrophage and then made several duplicates. I used the sculpting tools to shape the variations using the duplicates. The duplicates are exported along with the other sculpted meshes. In Maya, the meshes are rigged and the duplicate macrophage meshes are used to create a blend shape sequence deformer that makes the original macrophage appear to move around. In Maya, materials are assigned to the mesh, lighting is set up, and the final animation is rendered. My third example shows how ZBrush can be used to sculpt a detailed mesh, which can then be prepared for printing and exported to a file format usable by 3D printers. This file can be uploaded to the website of a 3D printing service such as Shapeways, where it is then printed and mailed back from the printing service as a real-world 3D physical model. There are many more uses and potential ways ZBrush can be integrated into the generation of scientific visualization. These three examples are just meant to give you an overall idea of ways that ZBrush can be useful in your own work. As you learn more about the process, you'll no doubt discover more uses for ZBrush.